Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're celebrating fathers with another showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue. This one's a little bit different, though, because yours truly is part of the lineup. That's right, after years away from the stage, I'm finally scratching that itch. Hopefully no one will throw any barbecue. Opening up the show was our host, Hal Savar, rocking his trademark dazzling guitar. Hal always does a great job warming up the audience, which grew throughout the show. Like practically every act that performed, Hal's been on the show and performed right here in room 6. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the email address or social media link in the description. While you're at it, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on videos, live streams, and in reviews. Thanks! After Hal, the crowd was treated to Vera for Love, who was a surprise last act last week. Rocking the electric guitar, Vera let the audience into her heart and soul with a voice that rang out with songs about love, positivity, and memories filled with emotion. I'm looking forward to our upcoming interview. And then... this guy got on stage. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm not going to review myself because even my ego is not that big. So let's just say that People said nice things, and I only messed up twice. You can check out the live stream to judge for yourself. Moving on. Oh, and for the record, the Hawaiian banana shirt was a Father's Day gift from my daughter. I had to wear it. Up next was friend of the channel and performance artist extraordinaire, Aubrey Digital. I've reviewed her EP, Hello World, here. Check it out when you're done with this video. Last week, Aubrey was rocking a keyboard and laptop. This time, she rocked a beautiful Telecaster guitar and laptop, which was used as backing tracks. Working her way through the first few tracks on the EP, she impressed everyone with her clever lyrics and obvious talent. It's always great to see her perform. Following on Aubrey's heels was another performer utilizing tracks in the form of recent Room 6 guest, Cameron Paul. Cameron has a new song dropping soon, so make sure you follow him and the other artists reviewed in this video. Always a crowd favorite, Cameron combines smooth R&B with hip-hop sensibilities in his music, making everyone start nodding their heads and feeling the vibe he puts out on stage. I'm actually going to be reviewing his new single, so make sure you subscribe as to not miss out. The next artist was Zoe Day, borrowing Hal's shiny guitar, Zoe's always a crowd favorite, and this time was no exception. With powerful emotions behind strong vocals, Zoe's songwriting stirs up feelings of the past while looking towards the future. Keep an eye out for her upcoming single release. By the way, if you're equestrian minded, that means you like horsies. Zoe owns and operates Las Vegas Riding Instruction. You can contact them at lasvegashorses.com. Tell them Room 6 sent you. Coming up next was fellow Hawaiian shirt enthusiast Robert Stokes. Showing off his patented sticker covered acoustic guitar, Robert introduced some chill island vibes to the evening. Robert also fronts the Robert Stokes Band and Default Valentine, which I saw perform at this very venue. He's a prolific writer and is always a treat to watch and listen to. The second to last act was Chalmer Harper with Chris Massa on lead guitar. Chris just released a new song that I'll be reviewing on the channel soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. That's such a weird expression, right? Chalmer and Chris are always a powerhouse duo, and this set was no exception. Chris's new song was introduced with Chalmer singing on it, and it was different yet fit in with the rest of the songs they performed perfectly. With soaring vocals and enthusiastic guitar playing, their set definitely turned things up to 11. Finishing out the night was a sad but beautiful song by Sage Waters. Poignant and emotional, it was obvious that this one comes from deep within Sage. I think I speak for everyone present when I say that it brought back memories and, and I for one felt lucky to be there. Overall, the second installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was a hit, and a great Father's Day present for dads like me. Great job, everyone. I look forward to the next one this Sunday. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll swing by Soul Belly Barbecue if you're in the area. It's on Main Street in downtown Las Vegas. And hey, if you happen to be there on a Sunday, hopefully you'll catch the Songwriter Showcase, which starts at 8 p.m. Uh, there's also a live stream that I'll be doing, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And, uh, what else? Oh yeah! 
If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it would really make a difference. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Feel free to swing by room6.shop and pick up some merch that tells the world you love local music and you want to support it. Uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.